What's up, Americans or Americans? Uh, I'm doing this video about the election and voting. Because one thing is, I'm not going to fucking vote for nobody. I don't vote. That's one damn thing. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not going to vote for nobody. As long as this government is fucking people over, I'm not going to vote. I'm never going to vote if that's all they're going to do is fuck people over. They can sit there with the little empty promises saying, Oh, if I get in the office, I'll make rich folk, rich people pay more. No, if you're going to make rich folks pay more, they better have a one-story house, a four-bedroom house with two cars, and that's it. If you're going to make these motherfuckers pay taxes, you, they better end up looking like us. Like middle-class people. They can do all the big movies and songs and shit like that, but you better make them look like us if you're going to make them pay more taxes. Now, all that money that you're going to get from, you better put that money to good use. You better, I better see Popo sitting out there on the street corner. I want to see firefighters sitting up there trying to put out a damn church fire. I want to see T-Dot, that's the people that works on the road and shit, be fixing these motherfucking potholes. I want to see these damn governors and senators sitting up in jail cells because all they want to do is spend money on stupid shit like building big businesses to have their little conference in. That's bullshit. You better use that money for people so they can get some fucking health insurance. You better put that money to good use to be buying oil so gas prices will go fucking down. You better be putting that money to good use so there ain't be no fucking unemployment. You better put that good money to use so people can have their disability and welfare and section 8. Well, I hope people don't get on, a lot of people don't get on welfare and all that shit, but for the people who can't work no more, you better help them motherfuckers out. If you're going to say what you say, don't say, I'm going to I'm help them little man out, the, the middle class out, then you turn around and pocket all that money for no damn reason. I want to see some shit done if you're going to fucking try and do the right thing. If you're going to try to do the right thing, your ass better be kissing every fucking world leader there is and promise not to fucking start a war with these people. I'm tired of this shit. If my fucking vote counted, 9-11 would never would have happened. If my vote would have counted, you wouldn't see fucking police officers breaking the law. If my vote had counted, we wouldn't see teachers up there trying to rape little boys and girls. If my vote had counted... Teachers wouldn't be getting their jobs cut. Getting job cuts. If my vote had counted so more, you wouldn't see a bunch of people going for welfare. If you if my vote had counted, we wouldn't this country would never gotten the shape it in shape that it's in and half the half the other countries would stop being friends with us. Even though that you and even though the America, American government and other uh, country government plans the fucking wars out. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about the call, but <coughs> but it is what it is. I'm tired of sitting up there. Uh, people say, "Oh, you gotta vote. Your vote matters." No, it fucking doesn't matter. My vote never matters. Your vote never matters. Why even vote? I'm tired of hearing people. I was like, I'm going to vote for Mitt Romney. I'm going to vote for Obama. Okay, it's none of my fucking business. So shut the fuck up and stop doing YouTube videos about you going to vote for whoever the fuck you want. None of my fucking business. I know y'all going to say, why don't you just start watching the videos? I do. Once the shit, um, once I start watching it, they say, oh, I'm going to vote for Mitt I turn off and go somewhere else. That's all it is. I'm tired of saying, even if you're not subscribed to the people doing these videos, you're still going to see videos of them saying, I'm voting for Obama, I'm voting for uh, Mitt Romney. That's getting on my fucking nerves. I went to a show, uh, my friend's show, and I told her, I said, my vote never mattered to the government. And a bunch of people said, that's stupid. Your vote does matter. Bull fucking shit. My vote never mattered. My vote never mattered. That's Bull fucking shit. My vote never mattered to the government. No matter what they say, it doesn't matter. 
They pick a president before even an election roll around. So when Obama first got into office, they already had the next president to be to be in office. Before even November ever rolls around. Four years and well, before four years ever roll around. They already had the next president picked for office. Watch if Obama wins if if, if Obama wins. Watch watch just watch. If Obama wins, you know I'm telling the truth. That they already picked the president before election ever ran, came around. That your vote it never mattered. Never mattered. I'm not trying to put Obama down, but but that's how it is. Your votes never matter. Y'all probably say, yes, your vote does matter. Like I said, if Obama gets back in office, then you know that your vote never mattered. As long as some fat fucking rich motherfuckers like P. Diddy, Jay-Z and all them motherfuckers, big businessmen, have the money and they can just pay off the government and get away with anything, your votes never matter. They can pay off the government and say, hey, man, we want this motherfucker. They, they can pay it off. Y'all act like this is no so fucking surprise. Like I said, man, I'm not going to vote for nobody as long as these fucking people keep bullshitting. I'm tired of sitting up on here watching the fucking... I don't like debates because they never debate about the right damn thing. They debate about the stupidest shit on earth. If I ain't going to I'm raising taxes on rich... Well, I can understand that. Hey, if you're going to raise taxes on rich motherfuckers, you better do it to a point where they got a four-bedroom, one-story, two-car house. Two car, two car garage house. That's it. They better, they better look like my ass when I walk the street. They better be riding some busted ass hoopty and shit. I know who uses the word hoopty anymore because damn, that's the old word. I'm 28 and I know that word. I want to see these damn rich folks riding the bust ass hoopty, hoopty. If you gonna raise taxes on rich folks. I better see Jay Z be selling his motherfucking forty forty club. I better see P. Diddy saying, "Hey man, I'm stopping the clothesline and all this shit." I better not see another motherfucking P. Diddy movie. If I see P. Diddy in the motherfucking movie, then I know something fucking up. <clears throat> but like I said, man, I'm not gonna vote for nobody. I don't even see why people do vote. It's the same old bullshit every damn year, every four years. I mean. That's all it is. It's the same old bullshit every fucking election. They prom these empty promises. They say they're going to do this, but they never do. They never do it. All they do is bullshit. Why trust the word of a motherfucker that's trying to run this country? Why? You think these people's going to fix the country, which they, which they don't. And I uh, just don't get it. People think voting is the biggest shit than sliced bread. Like I said, I'm, I bet you, man. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I bet you. I bet you. Next time in the election, I bet this election, if Obama gets in office, like I said, your vote never counts because you just seen that Obama just won. But it's like this, though. If he if he wins the election, gets back in office, I wonder how. I wonder if 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 the unemployment skyrocket like it did for you like years ago, like what last year year before that, where people was unemployed, people was getting cut. Now now this year there's teachers getting so cut so badly because the schools don't have money. To pay these teachers, so your kids not getting a fucking education. So you might as well send them to a building where there ain't nobody to teach them shit. They're gonna be a bunch of fucking retarded ass fucks because the schools don't have no money. The damn government's not gonna give them money. Certain if certain schools would have stopped blowing their money on silly shit, man, and started blowing it on 
shit that that school needs yeah and then they can have some money but it's like this man I'm never gonna fucking vote as long I'm never gonna fucking vote as long as the government fucks over the little man y'all can kiss my ass on that shit you can say oh that's stupid not to vote well it's stupid to vote Y'all know what's going to happen every time election come around. People going to vote. What happens? New president coming in. What happens? Shit. The whole damn world gets fucked over again. The whole damn country. Not just the world, but the country gets fucked over. This, that's all it is. Every time an election come around, we get a new president. What happens? We get screwed. And y'all keep on going. It, it's like it's like y'all ain't learning from the first several times of elections. It's, like, it's just like your mama cooking in the kitchen and, I, and the eye says, there's an eye hot as a motherfucker. And your mama sitting up there saying, you better not touch that. The eye's hot and you touch it anyway and it burns. And then you keep doing it because you think it's fun. Oh, I'm a vote. You keep burning your fucking hand till there's nothing left. Your hand is nothing going to be nothing but bloody and burnt the fuck up. That's what elections are. That's what voting for somebody doing. Voting for a president is just like that. You burn the shit out your hand and you will never learn if you keep on voting. That's all it is, man. Cause that's, that's all people want to do. Vote for somebody that don't give two shits of a fuck about you and rather sit there and raise taxes on middle class people instead of the rich ass motherfuckers. Why do you think middle class is always going to be poor as hell? Because they never won the race taxes on the rich. Long as P. Diddy is driving his 15, 15 million dollar cars and got a private jet and shit. Private jets and shit, man. Yeah, we would never have any. The, the polls are always going to be sitting up. See, this is why. This is how you know that the government's fucking us over. Every big businessman never pay taxes, not even celebrities. They don't pay taxes. You can say, yes, they do. No, they fucking don't. Don't fucking front. Like, all, like uh, Wesley Snipes and sh like that. They don't pay taxes. Just because he went to jail doesn't mean shit. Look at every other celebrity. You don't see every celebrity going to jail because they don't pay taxes. Every time... You pay taxes. You can work a 60 hour week think you gonna get a fucking paycheck and what you bring home is a fucking hundred dollar paycheck. Cause you know why? Cause you clean up rich folks mess. You clean up rich folks mess. You're not cleaning up your middle class mess. You clean up the rich folks mess. Prisons, prison wouldn't be overcrowded. Prisons wouldn't be overcrowded. If the government gave a damn, they would have already had a, well, they do got a cure to the, to cancer and AIDS, but they just not going to give it to the people. They're going to give it to the rich folks, but not the middle class. But I was about to say was, if government gave a fuck about us, they would have already had a cure for cancer or a cure for AIDS. And a cure for any other STDs or VDs. But they they not going to do that because they're good that that's the government they do not give a fuck your vote doesn't fucking matter I'm tired of people saying your votes matter come vote come vote you can vote for whoever you want your vote speaks out no it doesn't my vote does not speak out if I can if I will vote I'm voting for my fucking self that's all it is I'm voting for I vote for the presidency I vote for presidency. That's all that is. If you want to see Afro Joe be president, I'll be president. I'll go in there and fuck all them motherfuckers up. Pull up documents and impeach every motherfucking Congress. Impeach every motherfuckers in Congress. It starts from scratch. I get some people that I get some people out the street. Hey, you want to be in Congress? All right, then get you got a job. You know what you got a job. I be putting people that that's in the middle that's in the middle class in the office so they can have me fuck over the rich folks. And businessmen, big businessmen. Because I'm tired of sitting up here, all you saying, why you got a, such an issue against rich folks? Why? 
Why? Why are you so damn poor? And why are you asking dumb ass questions? That's all it is. You ask me why you hating on rich folks, I'm gonna ask you again. Why you loving on them? Why you so damn poor? Oh, I love rich folk. You love rich folk? You go find the rich motherfucker to fuck around with. But that's all I'm saying, man. I'm tired of sitting up here every fucking four years for an election and the votes don't count worth the shit. We still get screwed over, no matter how. Politicians lie. You gotta know that for straight up and down. Politicians lie like a dog. Well, they lie like a rug. There you go. They lie like a rug. They never gonna be telling the truth. They can make all these empty promises and y'all motherfuckers fall for it and then y'all vote the fuck in and he's just screwing us, screwing y'all over. He's screwing y'all over. Like, he just, he just tell you, bend the fuck over and never fuck you up in your ass. And that's it. Your vote fucking doesn't count. Voting is stupid. Voting is retarded. Voting so fucked up in the mind that uh, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm tired of voting. I'm not going to vote for nobody. I'm not going to vote for no president. I'm not going to vote for no congressman. I'm not going to vote for no senator. I'm not voting for no mayor. I'm not going to vote for no police chief, uh, fire department chief, nothing. As long as these fuckers are screwing us over, I'm never going to vote. I'm tired of voting. I'm, I'm tired of people voting for the, for the dumbass people, and then they get screwed over, and they bitch and complain. They bitch and complain. Oh, he, that's a, he the worst president there he is. You voted his ass in. You vote these people in, and then you get fucking bit, butt hurt that he's fucking y'all over. Shit, that was, I'm telling you right now. You know he gonna fuck you over, so why even vote for this motherfucker? That's all it is. You know you're going to get butt hurt. Doesn't matter which person you vote for. You voting them in. So you taking the fucking butt hurt. You better let, you better have some KY ready and bend the fuck over and take it up the ass. Because you voted this motherfucker in. You wanted this motherfucker to f fuck you. That's all it is. And then everybody going to get mad and say, well, you need to shut the fuck up. And you need to listen to what the hell I got to say. You better go back and replay this video and listen for word for word. Don't sit there and sum it all up and say, Afro Joe, you the stupidest motherfucker. No, you the stupidest motherfucker for voting for these niggas. Up well, excuse me. You the dumbest motherfucker to vote these motherfuckers in that office. In them office. I didn't. I ain't, I ain't never. I didn't vote for these motherfuckers. Y'all did. I, I'm sitting up here so y'all the ones did it. Y'all getting screwed. You say, well, you getting screwed? No, uh-huh. Uh -uh. You better not say I'm, I'm getting screwed. Y'all y'all getting screwed. Because y'all the ones sitting, up, the ones sitting up here voting these dumb ass motherfuckers in the house, into the White House. That's all it is. Y'all motherfuckers voting them into the White House. <coughs> Excuse me. That's all it is. Y'all voting these people in knowing that they're going to fuck you over. It's like this every four years. It's like this. It's like when when Bush Sr. got in office. What happened? He was fucking everybody over. For eight years, he fucked everybody over. He said no new tax and he raised taxes. Clinton got in office. He spent eight years cleaning up Sr.'s mess. Then when his terms was up, what happened? Junior got in office. What happened? Eight years of his bullshit. It's too, and, and what happened when he left? Obama got in office and he still cleaned up Bush's mess. Y'all y'all sitting up there saying all this shit about Obama. Obama is a motherfucker. He ain't the best president in the world. Because he cleaned up another fucking president's mess. That's, that's, that's all it is. <coughs> Every time one president gets in office... That fucks up this country. The next president's got to clean it up. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's a <laughs> That's all it is. And it gets on my nerves that this happens. But ladies and gentlemen, that's that. 
Joe Tenek T I E S. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel C L G two C L G three. Follow me on Tumblr. That's how the story goes. Tenek T I motherfucking E S. Peace.